Welcome once again to Apostolic Sunday School. This is your quarantine daily devotion. That's right. I believe today is day 39, I think. Day 39. Uh, and that's not even counting Sundays, because I didn't count Sundays as a daily devotion, because that's like live Sunday school. So really, we're in the 40s. That's a lot of days. That's a lot of daily devotions, and that's a lot of time that we spend with you guys. Now, we've had a lot of fun, but I cannot wait until we can go in person back to church, back to Sunday school, and see many of you again. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see you guys. But there's one thing that has been making us feel a little bit less lonely. And that is because we get to see your face through the mini optic lesson. That's right. This, so this one today is coming from the other side of the nation. That's right. It's Alexis from Boca Raton, Florida. We got to see her brother yesterday, which was pretty cool. But today we get to see Alexis. All right. Take it away, Alexis. Go for it. Welcome to DIS, God's Interesting Story, with me as your hostess, Alexia Goldhammer. Because of Adam and Eve's choice to disobey God, we are all like this gloppy glue. We're so beautiful because God made us and loved us, but we're kind of a mess without Him. For all have sinned and fall short to the glory of God. Romans 3.23 This glue represents our sin. Our sin of not listening to our parents, not doing our chores, lying, cheating. All that is this glue right here. But this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. 1 Peter 3.21. This water indicates baptism in Jesus. That when we put him in our lives, when we pray and ask for repentance for all our sins, you'll see something magnificent happen. But, though our sins are red like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. This represents that our prayer to repentance. Our prayer, like you can pray, but you have to pray and ask for repentance for all the bad things you've done. You're lying, you're cheating, you're disobeying your parents. And then you've got to put that in. And then your sins will be as white as snow, it says. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Wow. Well, that was my object lesson. When we put God in our lives, he'll begin to mold us and make us. <laughs> Alexis, that was awesome. Great job, Alexis. Now, I know things may not have gone perfect at the end there, but it's okay. We have had more than our fair share of mishaps. Some of them including fire. Yeah, <clears throat> we won't talk about those. But <clears throat> right now, I think it's time for another special segment. Some people like it better than my object lessons. <laughs> it's the joke of the day. What do you call someone with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. <laughs> you know what? That wasn't a bad joke, quite frankly. I actually quite liked it. <laughs> Whoever it was that told that joke did a great job. <laughs> Good job, joke teller. All right. Uh, but today, I got a special friend with me. I got a special friend. It's my buddy, Mr. Q. What's going on? Hey. Hey, Mr. Crackers, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Boy, oh boy, life is so, so uneventful right now. Um, uh, uneventful? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, it, there's a lot going right now. In fact, this is one of the most eventful times of our lives. What are you talking about? Well, I don't have to do anything anymore. I don't have to go to school, not even Sunday school. No going to the store with my mom to buy groceries, no church, no going to the park. No going to my friend's house! Yeah, I, I understand. You know, this quarantine and the stay-at-home order is pretty crazy. It, it is yeah, nuts. I yeah, gotta yeah, it is. No science, history, math, English, no reading my Bible, what? no prayer, no fasting, no uh, none of that. No, no, wait, 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 hold everything. You are still supposed to be doing those things, Mr. Quackers. What are you saying? No, I'm not. The governor said we're on lockdown. So everything goes out the window. No, it does not. Did your parents really tell you that just because you can't physically get in the car and go to school that you don't have to do any of your schoolwork? Are you kidding me? Well, no, but I was hoping. And did your parents really tell you that just because we can't have an in-person church service that you don't have to pray and that you, you don't have to read your Bible? They wouldn't well, say that. Well, they didn't just come right out and say that, but I... I thought that was understood. No, this quarantine 
amazing thing doesn't change anything. Well, except that we may not be able to get in our cars and drive to church and be with everybody else in person, but the Bible still says that the church of God is vital to living for God. Don't you get that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally knew that. I totally did. You, you have been attending your church services, right? Well, our church is just having online services right now, so, uh, no. But, but you are joining those online services, aren't you? Well, yes and no. Sometimes they come up in the middle of my nap. So sometimes I have to sleep through them. What? You sleep through church? Mr. Quackers, would you sleep through a regular church service? Well, no, that would be dis disrespectful. I would never and do that. And it's just as disrespectful to sleep through online church when you're watching it at home as it is to sleep on the front row in the middle of church. That's just wrong, Mr. Quackers. Really? Are you serious? I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. I never ever will do that again. Really, really, really. Yeah, I promise. And, I won't. And when you're watching that online service, Mr. Quackers, you do get involved, right? Uh, uh, well, what do you mean involved? Uh, like getting into the service like you would when you go to church in person? Like singing in the song service? You, you are singing along and worshiping in the worship service, right? Well, uh, of course I will. I, uh, I, sometimes I play on my phone instead. You, you do what? No, 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 you do not play on your phone. That is wrong. You must be completely involved in the service. Online church is still church. Put your phone away. You need to stand up. You need to clap your hands. You need to lift your hands. You need to praise God. Sing along. <laughs> Mr. Crackers, run the hallways, or in your case, fly the hallways. I don't know, but you, you need to do something. God wants us to worship even though we're in quarantine. Are you kidding? This isn't a pass to do nothing. I... I'm so sorry. I will, I will, I will, for sure. No more time on my phone. I'm going to stand, lift my hands, I'm going to sing and praise God in the worship service. Then, when preaching's going on, I'll get my snack and play Fortnite. What? Whoa, whoa, what? Are you crazy? No, 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 no. You, you just don't get it. Do you eat snacks? Do you play Fortnite in a regu regular service? What is wrong with you? Duh. No, no, I don't. But, uh, but I, 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 just, I just don't. I, 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 then I, I, don't eat them in an online service. Worship service is important. But if anything, preaching is even more important than that. It is. You're kidding me. Uh, yeah, you need to preach with the preacher. You need to say Amen. You need to stand up and clap your hands when he reads his text. Pull out your Bible. <laughs> You gotta read along. You gotta take notes. Come on, man, get in the service. Pay attention the whole time. Wow, this is really good stuff. I'm feeling so bad now. I wasn't paying attention before, but I'm gonna be better, so much better. I'm gonna wait to mess around until after preaching. Now I'm gonna get involved in a song service with the preacher. And when my parents are praying, then, then I'm gonna get my toys. Whoa, 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 whoa. While what? your parents are praying, you're gonna play with your toys? Are you crazy? If song service is important and preaching is more important than that, then then the altar call is probably the most important time of all. Oh my goodness. Now that you've worshiped, now that you've praised God, now that you've heard the word of God, now that you've listened to the message that, the, that God gave your pastor, now you have to decide what you're going to do with it. The most important time of all? But but normally I, I It doesn't would, matter what you would normally do, Mr. Quackers. <clears throat> Prayer time is critical, absolutely critical to your walk with God. You must talk to God. You gotta let him know that you're taking what you have heard seriously. That's right. You need to let what the preacher said make a change in you. Does does, does that make sense? It really does, but but man, I've made a mess of things, haven't I? <laughs> A little bit, but one of the greatest things about God is his ability to forgive us when we make mistakes. If we just ask him to forgive us and then we do our best to change our behavior, you are going to try to change, aren't you, right? Yes, I'm going to tell God I'm so sorry for messing around in church. Hey, now I'm going to take it seriously. I'm going to worship and praise God and get behind the preaching. No more toys and games. And, and sleeping, yeah. right? Yeah, sleeping too. I'm going to stand up and do everything I would do in a regular service because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even a crazy coronavirus can't change him or anything about him. Now you're 
getting it. Now you're getting it, Mr. Quackers. And, and listen, you guys out there, all of this goes for me and you too. Let's get involved in the services our churches are having in, in whatever form they're taking. If it's in person, that's awesome. And quite frankly, I'm pretty jealous. I can't wait until we can have them again. But if you're having a drive-in service, don't take it for granted. If it's an online service, get involved with it. We already talked about that. Make it real, real church. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, let's have a great church together. In Jesus' name! That's right, Mr. Quackers. Until next time, guys, me and Mr. Quackers, we're gonna go and maybe uh, <clears throat> have a quick Bible study yeah, about not a few a bad things. Idea. But sounds like you're getting Mr. Quackers. You guys are awesome. Till next time, we're gonna see you later. Bye, Bye. guys! We'll see you later. Bye!